a mystery unfolding at a Mount Juliet library. News Channel 5's Olivia Michael explains how a local veteran's story found tucked in the pages of a children's book is now inspiring others in the community. At the library in Mount Juliet, you never know what you might find. Reading just opens up a whole new word, uh, world of things that um, you may not experience otherwise. But tucked in the pages of a children's book was a mystery, a photo of a woman. The discovery was posted on Facebook. Who was the woman in this photo? This is my basic training photo. So this is when I first joined the Air Force. Catherine Hall has dedicated 24 years of her life to the Air Force. So I looked at that photo almost daily while I was in the darkest period of my life. She's a veteran of the war in Afghanistan. And so my kids are used to seeing it, um, and which is very apparent because they grabbed it and used it in a book. <laughs> but the photo tells the story of a dark period in her life when she suffered from PTSD. I wrote a message to myself on the back of the photo. I, that was just a reminder to myself that I'm not those experiences, I'm not what I did there. Um, and the reason why I joined was genuine. Now as she transitions to civilian life, Hollis hopes her story will help others. So um, by sharing my story, I have met quite a few veterans in our community and it's a, it's a great group of people. As she writes her next chapter, she plans to work with others struggling with PTSD. It's not easy getting through um, that type of illness, but you can do it. Um, don't give up. And there are people here who know what you've experienced and have your back. Olivia Michael. You never know what you're going to find in a book. News Channel 5. She didn't have to open up either no. and tell that, you know, because a lot of people are frightened and embarrassed, right. but it's so important because it affects so many people. There is a greater story and yeah. many people share that story. When we talk about sacrifice in the military. This is part of it. Your mental yeah. health is part of it. Thank you. It is a problem that we are seeing more and more hospitals in small communities shutting their doors permanently. And ahead at 630, we have a closer look at one community right here in Tennessee working to get by with limited health care options. You know, for more than a decade, health care advocates have warned about rural hospitals struggling to survive. Since then, dozens have closed. Our Two America series looks to expand the America you know by shining the light on the American you may not. Matt Pearl looks at a community here in Tennessee that lost its hospital and has been trying to cope ever since. Before we take you on the ground in two towns in Tennessee, we must take you in the air. In the air shows the mountains and wonders that surround the towns with beauty and barriers. In the air shows their slight size and their remote distance. And for those who live here, in the air is too often the fastest way to the nearest hospital since theirs is closed. One of my friends had a heart attack the other day and they had to fly him out. This happened yesterday. Right. Let me off. On the ground, I always get a catfish. Shelly Utley runs the Copper Grill. You need a copy of your receipt. In Tennessee's Copper Corner. This town, you know, it's an old mining town. It's been forgotten ever since the mine shut down. Utley works in the town of Copper Hill. The hospital was in nearby Ducktown. A half decade back, the